What's up, my name's Samuel Leeds, and this Winner's Wednesday is one of the most exciting Winner's Wednesdays we've ever had. And not only this guy I'm about to introduce you to, he joined the Academy last year in April, made his investment back, did some cool things in property, but he's gone on to revolutionize the way that property investing is done here in the UK through an app which is absolutely blowing up at the moment. I did a video about this on Monday, it's now Wednesday. Tomorrow he's gonna to be traveling the world, going all around Italy and everywhere. So I thought before he starts traveling around the world with his amazing app and financial freedom and success, I needed to get him to my house to share the story and also get you guys in on what's going on. So, Ashley, welcome to my home, buddy. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. You've, been, you've had a crazy 12 months. Yeah. It's been a really crazy time. Um, yeah, joined the academy in April. By kind of mid-July, made the money back. Through? Uh, through uh, this platform we're talking about today, Deal Sourcer. So, when did you first come up with this idea? Uh, so I had, I had the idea when I came across your stuff in maybe 2018. Yeah. I had the idea, but then I was like, yeah, whatever. And uh, then I joined the academy in, uh, in, in April. And I came to the DFE and was like... Okay, this is really about seeing as many properties as possible. Yeah. Thus, you need to filter through a lot of properties on right move. But so much of it was repetitive. I was like, well, could I build? So I literally built it for myself. I didn't build it for anyone else. I built yeah. it for myself, fixed my own problem. And then I had a few people say, well, that's a bit insane. Can I use that? And I was like, uh, yeah, I guess. And I gave it to them. And then within a matter of weeks, we had hundreds of people using it. And I, 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 was, I was like, what's going on? And then... People are like, you really need to start charging for this. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? And uh, the rest is history. Um, well, the, what, what was happening within the academy was, this, I, I was teaching strategies, how to find problems, how to, and everyone was saying to me, oh yeah, we just used the app. Yeah, we just used the app. And I'm thinking, okay, that's kind of like, that's kind of making void part of my teaching. <laughs> so I'm like, this Ashley dude, I need to kick this guy off of the academy or something. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. But, you know, so I'm kind of hearing about it. And I know we knew each other through the academy loosely. Yeah. We'd met and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you did some decent things in property. You had some rent to rents, And you seemed like, you know, a happy, happy student. But this, this app kept coming up. And everyone was talking about this app. And I'm not a super techie guy. I'm kind of old school. So you had a bit of opposition from me in the early days. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it, it kind of, uh, it did a lot of, a lot of the things you were teaching, it automated. Um, but my view was that once we got the product to a really good point, um, and we brought it back to you, you'd actually see, okay, if I give this to my students and everyone else, they're going to do more deals, they're going to make more money, it's going to be beneficial to everyone else. So, yeah, it was, uh, I, I, I had the faith, I had yeah. the faith. <laughs> did you join the academy? To do the app? No. Or did you... No, 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 no. A hundred percent no. Like, I, I had a tech business before this, and it was a really hard process, like four years of pain. Yeah. And I was like, I'm never doing tech again. I'm going into property. I'm selling my stake in my business, and I'm just going to do HMOs and single lets. And then I did the DFE, and as I mentioned, I gave, I gave the app to a few people, and it blew up. And then I was like, maybe I kind of overlap these two things. Yeah. So I'll finish the academy... And I'll keep looking at deals and trying to buy things myself. And then the app just kind of took over. It took over all my time because I realized that if you do this properly, you fix all these problems that people commonly have. Yeah. So then they're spending their time only going to the properties that only make sense in the right areas. Yes. Um, so it was, it was, and it was obvious from the feedback I was getting from people. They were like, basically, after they used it, they couldn't imagine not using it. So That's the same with me because... It's like having the iPhone and having the Nokia. Yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. So, and I want to get into the app shortly and all the features of it and how, and how, how that came about and how you, how you did it. But you, the cool thing is, is you've actually done it as a property investor. You've, yes. You've, you've gone through the process. You've, you've, had, you've had rent to rent. You've, you've sold property deals. You've made money in property, which is, which is cool. So, so, so you're not someone that's come a, a techie person that's tried to create no. something for property investors. You genuinely have found a problem. I and fixed then, it for myself first, yeah, you know, I, yeah. did, I did it for me, like, the app originally wasn't an app, it was, it, was, it was an ugly little thing that just found me loads of deals, and then I showed it to people, and then I turned it into a product, so yeah. 
hundred percent. It was for me. It wasn't for anyone else. So let's talk to those people that maybe didn't see my Monday video. And if you didn't, if you're watching this now and you didn't watch my video on Monday, which I did a couple of days ago, I'd suggest checking it out. But let's talk through what the app actually does. So firstly, it finds potential HMOs. Yep. So talk to me about that. How does it do that? Um, so the whole app works on the same basis that normal people do. It basically goes onto all the websites for you and finds all the properties and then figures out... And what websites does it go on? Uh, Rightmove, Zoopla, all of these. Okay. So, so it basically does what you do. It looks at a deal and says, would this work as a single let? Would this work as a HMO? Would this, is this a BRR deal? Is this... And it figures out the right deal type for the property and then does all the numbers. So for an HMO, it figures out the average room rent in the area. It uses the spare room local information and calculates what it is for an HMO, which mm. you know, obviously you've explained a so, million so times. So basically, let's say I want to find a HMO in Birmingham. Rather yep. than me having to look through all of the properties and then find the potential HMOs, all the existing HMOs, and then work out how much rent I'd get and go on the different comparable sites, then go and do the same on Zoopla. It just brings it all together. It's already done. All the numbers are already done. So you literally type Birmingham, tap HMO, and then just... Now, this is why it's disruptive, okay, to the industry, because... A deal sourcer, a big part of what a deal sourcer will do in the apps and they're called deal sourcer, is they will identify potential properties. Now, of course, there's more to it. You've got to view it, negotiate it. But a lot of the work that deal sourcers do, that people pay deal sourcers to do, is what the app does. Yes, the legwork. So how, how do you feel, or how do you think, you might already know the answer, deal sourcers are going to react to this? Are they going to be ticked off? Are they going to be like, yo, you've suddenly made something which I'm charging a couple thousand pounds for, of course there's a bit more to it than that, but you've suddenly made it completely available so that the, the average person who doesn't necessarily know much about property can just, boom, find these deals. It calculates the return on investment yeah. for you. So do you think deal sources are gonna be ticked off or a deal source is gonna be pleased because it will actually save them time? Like, What's the response? The response is 95% positive. There's like, I'd say there's like 5% of people that say, oh, this is competitive to what I do and things like that. But the majority of people, no, because it's obvious because I actually, I remember chatting with James Armstrong right back early on when I was building it. And he said, look, if I sell a deal for 3K and I spend X amount of hours on it, if your app reduces the amount of hours, then how much I make per hour goes up. So I make True. more money. So why would I not use it? I guess the reason that people might be upset, a deal sourcer, would be that they like the fact that they have to put a lot of hours in it because they can justify to their client, I've spent six hours finding this property. When, they know, when everyone knows, because this, this is gonna become a household name, I have no doubt, certainly in the investment space, when everybody knows, actually, the app does it instantly. It kind of takes away from the research that needs to go into it. And I think that's potentially why some deal sources might be ticked off, but maybe I'm wrong. No, I, I, think, I think you're right. I just think that you know how hard it is to get great deals. Like a lot of it is the negotiation and going to view the properties and just, you know, deals don't stack or yeah, there's yeah, an issue yeah. with subsidence or there's, it's a numbers game. You've got to view a lot of property. Like you always said, the person who views the most properties is the person who makes the most money. Yeah. So why not cut out all that other time you spend doing the analysis and go out there and view all the properties and yeah. negotiate the deal. So frankly speaking like a, a deal sourcer is going to make 10 times the amount of money they could possibly make using a product that takes away all of the time they've spent analyzing deals and spreadsheets so yeah. it's it's innovation right innovation this is what innovation does it opens people up to do other things that are better that are more valuable that are more productive you, what about horses and cars and people mm. say that like okay so what you prefer to still have horses no you can do more things now that's you've got a car. so true that, that do you know what that's kind of what won, won me over that's what innovation's like it's like this i was know? honestly uh, and i've said this before i was honestly somewhat threatened by the app yeah because i'm like <laughs> I'm, I'm like wow this app is going to suddenly make and here's the really ironic thing my whole message and everything I do is about making property investment accessible for everybody. Yes. Right? I teach people, I have free content. But suddenly when this app came out, there was a part of me that was like, is this gonna, is this gonna make what I do redundant a little bit? Is this gonna, it was so disruptive. And honestly, if you see the app, I mean, I'd recommend by the way, how much, how much does the app cost? 
Uh, it's £45 a month. Yeah. Um, but if they use uh, your link, they get a, a lot cheaper. It's like, all right, cool. Yeah. And by the way, disclaimer, and we can talk about the conversation. I have shares in the app. Yeah. Right. So it's just a disclaimer. And it, I, 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 I don't speak well of the app because I have shares in it. I have shares in it because I was afraid not to, because I knew how big it was going to go. And I'm like, damn, I got to get involved somehow. So we worked out a deal. But like, which by I, the way, thank you very much. We're really, really happy. No, thanks, because I, 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 it was, it was going to be big with or without me. I'm glad to be part of it. But I think what kind of changed my way of thinking was I thought, number one, is it's going to help with my mission of making property investing easy and accessible for as many people as possible. Number two is exactly what you just said. When there's an advancement, people always get ticked off when there's an advancement. You know, like when people say, oh, well, um, now you can go to a shop and you can buy stuff without ever speaking to a person that's going to make people redundant and then they get annoyed because of the advancement. Or cars, what about the horses? People always get annoyed. When the internet first came out, we were discussing this earlier. Uh, absolutely. You know, people were freaking out and they were, they were saying it was from the devil and it was bad. But actually, when things, when advancements come out that make daily life easier, whether that be for property investors or for anyone, I think it's always a good thing. It makes society better. Yeah. We should always be driving to do this all the time. I don't, I don't know why there's that approach. And that's, that's the definition of a true entrepreneur, I think. I think a true entrepreneur is somebody that actually finds a problem, solves the problem, and makes people's lives better. Yeah. Ten times. As long as the product is ten times better, that's it. Yeah. That opens up for more innovation, other things. Like you said, you know, people get to spend times on things. Uh, they get to spend time on things they love, instead of sitting in a spreadsheet calculating numbers and then making mistakes. That's the other thing. It stops people from making mistakes. Mm. Talk to me about that. What do you mean? Well, like if it's very easy. If you're sitting in a spreadsheet constantly doing your numbers, like okay, I forgot on this deal that uh, okay, I didn't put insurance each month to take that out, or I forgot to. I don't know, I used the wrong rate for the agencies or are you, all of that stuff is just done for you. Yeah. You just look at the deals. So does it mean that, because I teach people how to calculate the ROI, would you say that people don't need to know how because it just does it for you? Or do you no, think no, still no. should know how? No, no, they still need to know because they need to know what we're doing. What we're doing is we're basically finding great investments, which basically means a high return on capital, right? Yeah. You put cash in and you get the maximum out per per annum. So they still need to know that stuff. And if you of look at how much people charge to find good deals, a couple thousand pounds for one good deal. Yep. Your app is, is, is scraping the whole internet. Yep. Providing all of the good deals just there for people. Yeah, 185,000 of this morning. So yeah. And it's 45 pounds a month. Is that with or without the discount code? That's, uh, that's without the discount without code. Without the discount code. So with the discount code, I don't know what it is, but it's even less. Yeah. So you know, that's really insane. Talk to me a little bit about the academy because, you know, I know you've done ridiculously well with the app and also you've done other property deals and stuff. But talk to me a bit about your whole experience through the process. Uh, so I, I, was, I was in a, I started a tech business before this and I was done with technology. I, it was a very hard, it was a very, it was like uh, Elon Musk calls it uh, chewing glass and staring into the abyss. Like tech is hard. It's not what people think. Anyway, I was in that process and I was like, right, I'm getting out of technology. I'm going to go into property. I obviously found you on YouTube and I decided to join the academy. I'd been to the crash course and I joined uh, last April. And, and how much you pay? Like what, 12,000? 12 uh, 12K, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I... I sold my stake in my previous business in the June, so I left then, and then uh, by uh, mid-July, I'd made back basically all the money. So how long is that, three months? Four months. Four months? Yeah, ish. Yeah, three, four, yeah. 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 So, so, I, so it worked? Yeah, and it was it was very quick as well. Like, I, I think in a... I think in a four week period, I made like 8K or something. I, I just, I didn't know what was going on. I was, yeah, it was it was amazing. And then uh, then I decided, okay, I can't just, uh, this is the wrong business model. I need to charge people a subscription. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I changed to a subscription model and then, you know, been financially free ever since then, so. That's so cool. And you're, you got two rent to rents in Sheffield. Yes. Which, which is yeah. where I, I got two rent to rents in Sheffield. With my financial freedom challenge? Yeah, that's why I did it. Oh, really? So I basically watched the financial freedom video. That was the previous Christmas, yeah. yes. And then I came to the crash course in the January. And then uh, then I joined in the, uh, the April. 
And uh, yeah, I was like, I'm just going to do what Samuel did. <laughs> and I came to DFE and uh, yeah, I was viewing a lot of properties and uh, I teamed up with one of the guys in the academy, Tan. Um, shout out to him because he basically handled a lot of the deal and a lot of the troubles we had with it and stuff and also selling it. So a uh, massive thank you to him. And um, yeah, we... Uh, I, I I put up all the uh, furniture. I put the things on the wall. Um, yeah, we've decorated the whole place, and uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting experience. I think we um, I think I actually did that. I did that before the DFE. Do you know what's really interesting though? And I've said this to you before. People say to me, "What's the best strategy? What's the best? What should I do?" And I think you know what. That answer is different for every individual person. Yes. There's, there's no rent to rent's the best strategy or deal sourcing or BRR. Or, in fact, it might be none of them. It might be that you need to create an app, <laughs> right? Yeah. You've, you've got to use your skills, your entrepreneurial flair, and then you've got to just bring that out some, s- somehow. And I think you're a really good example of someone that's done that because you've, you've, you've come through the academy, you've learned all the different strategies, you've done some stuff, you've had some success, but then you've actually thought, actually, where I'm really scaled is in tech. Yes, the overlap. I did the academy and, uh, you know, openly, like, the credit goes to you and your team. I basically took everything in the academy, automated as much of it as possible and gave it away to the masses. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, they've got to negotiate the deals and they've got to do all that, you know, the hard work, but, like, the... The legwork is done. It cuts out all that initial process, right? Yeah, just spend your time looking at the deals that make sense. Yeah. Instead of wasting your time on the other ones. So. What What would be the biggest reason why? Because my, my suggestion would be everybody watching this should just go get the app, <laughs> right? I'll I'll leave a link in the description where they can where they can download it, get information on it with a discount code as well. Also, it's free for seven days. Okay. Well. <laughs> so, okay. So. Well, literally free. Yeah, it's a, it's a trial. You get like uh, you get. Yeah, you get a trial for it. So week, what so. happens? So you, you, you sign up for the free trial, which I think everybody should do. Yeah, it's the same as give, give me an unashamed, un- unashamed plug right now. Like. <laughs> okay, so follow, follow the link in the description. Sign up. You put in your card details. You don't get charged anything. It's the same as Netflix. You, you know, when you sign up for yeah. Netflix, you get the 30-day trial and you put in your card details. That's it. And if you want to keep using it, then keep using it. And what would they expect to see? So they'll, they'll do the free trial. What happens? Because when I first looked on, when when you first created it, initially you said it wasn't like sharp and fancy and nice and user friendly. Now when you go on it, it's just beautiful, undeniable. You look at it and you just like, holy moly! What do you see? You see the BRR, the HMO. That you put your little search bar of the area you want to look, and then the houses come up. Yeah, every type of deal type is on there. Basically, every type of deal type. Uh, We've even got. planning and uh, development and all these other stuff that we don't even talk about that's on there as well. So yeah, yeah you, you basically pick the deal type, you pick the location, uh, whether you want BMVs, ROIs, or the mixture of the two. Um, yeah, and go, go and close some deals. That's and what it, we want. We and want it to... works out the ROI on every single house on right move, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's just, this would be the ROI if you bought this house. Yeah, and we're super conservative. Like we get, recently we've been getting feedback from people, people saying, oh, your numbers are, 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 too, are too low. And we're I'd like, be- better to be that way. We're like, it's better to be that way. Because yeah. then if it's a 20% and it comes out as 24, wouldn't you be happy? I'd better. Another thing friend. as well that happened recently, a complaint that I heard was that, oh, in my area, there's not enough, you're not giving me enough deals. But it's like, listen, <laughs> that's because there, there isn't obviously any. isn't anything there. No. This no. app is not going to create deals and say that this is a good deal when it's not. It's going to be conservative. It's going to give you the best of what's there. You've got to be patient. You've got to get the app. You've got to check it three times a day while you're on the toilet. Yeah. Literally, like, habitually checking the app. I'm on it all the time now. I'm just on it all the time. So what's, what's next? Tomorrow you're traveling the world. You're going to Italy tomorrow. Yes, uh, going to Italy with uh, my missus. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to it. And then uh, maybe later in the year when all this craziness has calmed down, we'll uh, start traveling around the world. Yeah, so, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. This is the beginning of, uh, of something great. And, um, yeah, uh, couldn't be happier. So do you think that, like, financial freedom, laptop lifestyle, as someone who's a grit hard worker like you are, but also who's about to be traveling the world with a laptop lifestyle, financially free. How, how attainable is that? Um, I think it depends like how hard you're willing to work. Yeah. It's really, 
Because yeah, you've put in like what hundred hours a week regularly. Yeah, for a year. Yeah. So I, I knew that this had to be right for to to do something with you. It had to be a great product. It had to be to a point where it was undeniable because then it could grow really fast. So we put in the work, and we'll keep working that hard. It won't make a difference, but. Yeah, I think it depends how hard people are willing to work. It's the same with everything you do, right? Like, there's so many people I talk to, and um, I just think, like, people are people not willing to work hard enough anymore. You know, like, you've really got to put in the work. So mm. I think it's totally achievable. And if you see someone traveling the world, making passive income with this really popular app or properties or whatever, that's not happened by mistake. No. That, that's been a deliberate, planned, well thought out. That person's going to have probably took the training. That person's going to have been searching on right move, making difficult phone calls, had to fall out with people because their yeah. friends and family have tried to protect them, saying they're working too hard. And then after all that hard work, then you've got the result, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then it's then it's considered like an overnight success and these other things, but it's not. They don't see the. You know, like, I'm sure the same with you. Like, I dreamt of being an entrepreneur when I was 17. I'm now 33. I've built multiple businesses before this, but, like, it's a lot, you know, you have to put in the work. Like, yeah. like what, what do you expect? It's not going to be given to you. And But I think if people want to do something similar to me and maybe want to get into the tech space and want to blend these two things, um, it's not as hard as people think it is. You know, when yeah. I was at school, I was considered the dumb one. Yeah. You know, now I'm building... Now I'm working in technology. So like, it's, it's all achievable. You've just mm. got to put in the work. It's really that simple. Um, I just, uh, yeah, I don't think people want to. They want, the, they, 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 not everyone wants to put in the work that's required to be and not successful. Everyone, and not everyone wants to pay for education. Like, yeah, that's, you, you, you know, we were talking about this before. What do you think about that? I think that's very misguided. I think that's being, uh, I forgot the term, but it's like they're, they're, they're trying to, um, they're, they're being cheap. They're trying to cut their costs where mm. like you should be thinking about the upside and the ROI. So I made 100% ROI on the academy in four months. So over a year, what is that? That's like a 400% ROI. Like it's insane. Mm. I, I Yeah. And not only with the, with, the, with the education, but also with the aspect of, well, for a start, all the people that became customers, a lot of them were on the academy. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Like I, it was. There's a network effect of the academy. Like there is a real network effect. Meaning, like inside the network, there's value because people get to work yeah. with each Second, other. Secondly, I get people pitching me every single day on ideas. I get people pitching me on app ideas probably yeah. every week. I've got this app, or I've got this idea, I've got this thing. You know, I've come up with this initiative, and I physically cannot no. give the time of day to all of these people. Whereas if I've got someone on the academy that says I've got an idea, it's much more likely that I'm gonna be able to go, okay, let's have a look at it. So yep. I don't think if you, if you hadn't been on the academy, not only would you have not probably come up with the idea because you wouldn't have felt, no, no. felt the need for it. Number two, have the initial audience to become customers. And number three, I don't think I would have partnered with you if you went on the academy. So you know, people saying, oh, it's too much of an investment. You're right, it's an investment. But, and you don't have to do it. You can do the free stuff. But if you're really serious and if you really want to get go 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 fast and go far, yeah, it's it's just a no-brainer. Yeah. Also, I wanted to be around like-minded people. Yeah. Like I really, I got the vibe when I came to the crash course. Like I got that vibe. I was like, I need to be closer to the fire. I need to be closer to people that think this way. I need to. So to me, it was like initially started as that, and then when this actually like started to take off, I just knew I was like, I'm I'm gonna convince Samuel to. To partner with me on this, I've just got to make it great first. And it took, it took, it took a couple of meetings. Uh, it took a long time. Was I, was, was, was I hard to convince? Um, yes and no. No, no. You, you, you were, you were kind of, you were fair, I guess. You were like, uh, yeah, we, we get it, we get it from you. Yeah, you, you were fair, but it was. I learned, what I would say is through that experience, I learned a ton. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what, what, what did you learn? Uh, you know the KISS principle, keep things simple, stupid? Yeah. Uh, we should have kept things more simple. Yeah. <laughs> I think when you pitch someone, you need to give them like the elevator pitch and nothing else. Um, yeah, I think th keeping things simple, um, focus on win-win. I mean, these are, these, are obvious, these are obvious principles, but like, 
you know, when you're passionate and you're working on something, you get you get. Let, let's talk a, a little bit about, about that actually, because if someone's listening who might have an idea or a concept, because it's the same. If you're pitching someone to do a joint venture, if you're pitching someone to invest in a business, if you're pitching someone to um, collaborate with you on, a, on an app or an idea or a concept, the whole idea of, of, of pitching people, of joining forces, talk to me a bit about that process, because I think it's really, it, it's a skill that's really essential to all business people and all property investors. It's literally everything. Yeah. I mean, it, it's deals, right? That's all, that's all we do as, as entrepreneurs. Yeah. We just do deals, whether it's one big business, which is a deal, or it's many little deals. So the first thing is, as you've said, is you've got to make your, you've got to make your service or your product really freaking good. Yeah, the, the Elon Musk approach is uh, 10 times better than anything else. Yeah. So it's really simple. Just make it 10 times better than everything else. Yeah, and, and you, you did that. So Undeniable, yeah. You did that. So when you came to me, we looked at the product, it was like, yes, the product's great. But from my point of view, I'm like, it's great. However, how can I benefit from this right yeah. now? <laughs> right? No, exactly, exactly. How, how can you benefit and how, how, how can we benefit together? Um, yeah, I think that that's kind of, there's there's two sides. There's the value add. So you've got to add value first. Yeah. These are the obvious things, but they're so important. You've got to really be bringing value to the table. Pitching someone an idea is not value. Mm -hmm. Ideas are cheap, executions, everything. So like, I think it'd be more important, like say you're, let's keep it really simple. You're trying to do a JV on a property. I would go out and do a bunch of deals and get a bunch of track record make that 10x you know compelling as hell and yeah. then pitch that to someone yes and the same goes for the app go out and do something you yeah. don't need anyone like this stuff is so free true and then build. what happens is then what happens is people start then chasing after you right it's it's all value it's all value it's, you've got to make yourself as you always said you've got to make yourself valuable yeah because then there is no pitch because the first thing i said to you is how many people are on this exactly how many people are on this how many people are using this how many people are yeah. aware of this because because I get people pitching me all the time with an idea. So when you first came to me with an idea, and, I, and when I heard it going around a little bit, and it was kind of an idea, I wasn't interested. I was just like, ah, oh, it's stupid. Well, it originally was, it was, it was just a negative equity screener. That's all it did. It yeah. just gave you addresses and you could send a And also the amount of people that had come to me with that idea yeah, exactly. of negative equity screeners. And I'm just like, all right, cool, yeah, whatever. But then when you take it from an idea to, Samuel keeps hearing about this from everybody. Well, do, do you know about the story about the DFE with Russell? No. So Russell was at DFE. You know the thing where you ask everyone to go away and get the deals and come back with their number of yeah, deals? Yeah, tell me. I do know, but tell me. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Jules, shout out to Jules. He, um, he actually texted me after this, so I, that's how I knew about it. And then Russell told me. So anyway, they, they basically get everyone to go and find a bunch of deals, come back, and you compete for the numbers. Who found the most deals in the hour? And it was like, oh, I found five, and then this table found 20, and you know, I found five, and I found 10. And then this guy just goes, I, I, I think he said, I found 125 or something ridiculous. <laughs> and I went, what? what? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And I then Russell's like, no, 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 they're not deals. <laughs> they're just right move links. He's like, nope, ROI. I've got all the numbers. Do you want to see them? And, uh, he's like, what? what? So Have you been doing this for a month prior? <laughs> Did you know this exercise was coming? Nope. No, he literally just went on the website and just uh, and just pulled out all the all the properties. So yeah, and uh, he basically got him on the mic. And I remember because I actually haven't even told this to Russell. This is probably news to you as well. The guy texts me at the time this happened. I opened up Google Analytics, and all of a sudden the traffic just started spiking. Yeah. And it was because he spoke on the mic and mentioned it. I was like, I use okay, the deal this, sourcer. Okay, this is gonna work. We need, I need to talk to Samuel about yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great, because again, it's, it, it, someone's used it, yeah. added value, stories sell, right? Facts tell. Uh, th yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that, that's so good. And I think that's, that's kind of what caught my attention. When I saw people using it, I, was, I, I, didn't even, I hadn't really even looked at it, because I'm so untechy. But then when you came in, and I thought, all right, come on, let's talk. And then I looked at it, suddenly it went from you trying to get my attention to me being like, Okay, I want I want to buy into this. I want I want in on yeah, this. Yeah, I, I, I vividly remember leaving that meeting and me and Andres were talking. And we were like, oh, we could, we could handle that better. Oh, we should have done that. Oh, we should have said that. And then I got the message that evening from from you, and it was like, you should be so proud. This app is great. Yeah. I can't remember what you said. It was just, yeah, and I was like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. great, great. So yeah, and the rest is history. So that's um, awesome. Yeah. So right now, then, so and it's it's, it's an app, but it's also a website. So you don't, yep. if you're not tech, that was one of the things that put me off. I'm like, an app, 
oh no, an app, I'm just so not that way inclined. But then website, let's have a look. Oh my goodness, it's an app and it's a website and it just does everything that's gonna save me time. So no, it's really, really good. I'm super impressed with it. I'm really honored and proud to be part of the Deal Sourcer app as well. Uh, likewise, we're so happy. Um, I know we've got more crazy things lined up as well in the pipeline to do, you know, projects and stuff to do together, but this is clearly working. People are clearly loving it. What would be your biggest advice to someone that's wanting to just become successful, whether that be in property, in business, like from your from your experience of creating the app, of succeeding in property, of going through the academy, like what would be the top biggest takeaways that you could give to people? Uh, um... I guess you've got to have you've got to have a big reason why why you're doing what you want to do because um, you need that when it's difficult. Um, so you need you need a big why, and then you've got to go out there and work really really hard. Um, but just focus on adding value. That's that's the only thing that matters. That kind of leads everything. That makes everything easier. Yeah. Um, but you got to just go work hard. And uh, I would. I would do the courses. I mean, for goodness sake, like your stuff is all now available online for like so much cheaper now. Not five pounds. <laughs> yeah, I'd just do that. Um, go sell a bunch of deals. Um, it, 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 it depends what you're doing, but I, I guess if it's anything else, you just got to put in the work and you've got to have a, you've got to have a why. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's work, really good. Work, I like that. Work hard. Like that, don't, I think like people need to really realize what it takes to be successful these days. I think we've been like molly coddled a little bit. Um, yeah. You've really got to put in the work, so. What, what, what was your why when you joined the academy? Uh, my family and me. I always wanted to make them financially free and myself and, um, and that's it. Um, I, I don't want to give the long story, but you know, my sister went through um, quite a bad experience about five years ago. She suffered a brain injury, and and that kind of just poured more gasoline on the fire. I always wanted yeah. to make them, you know, free. Uh, I grew up like you, counselor, say, you know, all that kind of normal stuff. And really, okay, you don't you don't come across like that. No, no, no. That's that's where I'm from. That's where I'm really from. That's where I'm born and bred. Yeah. I, I where did you grow up? A uh, place called Ipswich. Yeah, Suffolk. Yeah. Um, I grew up in a council estate called Chantry, and um, yeah, I I got to see like when I was younger. Um, you know, my mum and dad. You know, uh, in the end, they did well. But like, I saw them go through the early nineties where the interest rates went up. They lost their house, so, and I got to see like, I, I from that point on, I was like, I, I I don't want I want them to be free financially, but I also I don't want to have to go through that. Mm. You saw what poverty looks like. Or at least you saw what real financial struggle looks like. Yeah, yeah, I got to see struggle. And you know, you know when you're a kid and things don't, you know, but you realise later on what they are, what those moments were. And, and yeah, I, 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 I didn't want that for them. And that's always driven me. And um, yeah, I just like you, you know, like you can go out and get whatever you want. You just got to put in the work. So, but mm -hmm. that stuff is what defines you, I think. Why did you just, you said she had a brain injury, you said? Why did, what, how did that correlate to you wanting to be successful in business? Um, so I was already, at the time I'd started a tech business, I'd ventured out into being an entrepreneur. We raised a bunch of money, we raised about a million quid, we started this new tech startup and I was in the middle of growing that and she, after having um, uh, her son, uh, she suffered, a, there was negligence at the hospital basically, so she got a brain injury uh, from it and um, she's with us today and we're very lucky and um, yeah, that just that just uh, poured gasoline on the fire. I was already ambitious, but that was always in my mind when I was at that previous startup because yeah. I was I wasn't helping them enough. I was constantly working on this startup that was, you know, most startups they require a lot of investment and time. And um, I was like, I need to get out and I need to help them. I need to do more. And yeah, um, yeah it just uh, it just made it more real. I remember at DFE I spoke about it. You got me on stage and asked me to talk about my why, and I was talking about it then. And, I think everyone everyone has this on some level. Um, they have a, a why, and you've got to really focus on that in the difficult times. Mm. Um, and that's exactly what I'm about. Finding people that like you grew up in a council estate, got a strong why, and then and then channeling those people to be the best, the most successful that they can possibly be. You know, for me, that's people ask me why I do what I do. You know, why I teach and why I run a training company, and it's it's exactly for this reason, and also potential joint ventures. <laughs> Like if I didn't have a training company, we wouldn't have met, and now I wouldn't have the app. No, it's it's um, 
It's a real godsend because I, I I was in, I, I when I was in the last startup it was it was hard it was really hard and I remember watching your videos and they would boost me up and then after I joined I was like yeah I'm I'm out I'm out of here and I'm gonna I'm gonna work on property and then this took off so um, without the academy there would be no deal source so there would be none of this so it's exciting. Um... What's next then? What are you going to be doing while you're in Italy and traveling all over the world? Uh, scaling this business with you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. Um, scaling this business. Um, also artificial intelligence. Um, I'm spending a lot of time working on artificial intelligence. That's the kind of next wave uh, that we're going to see in the world. So I'd love to do some stuff in cancer detection and things like that. Yeah, that's um, great. So, so yeah, build, build, building, building products that you know improve um, humanity and Every, you know, everyone's yeah. lives and society. It really I, I is possible that. with technology. It really is possible. Now. Yeah, you're, you're an interesting guy. And I think that for anyone watching this who's in property, or even if you're not and you want to get in property, not only would I urge you to go and get the app or to get go on the website, register, it's peanuts. It's like £45 a month and there's a discount, so it's less than that. I don't know. What, do you know what the figure is? After the discount? Uh, 35 99 £35 a month. But also, share the word. Like tell people about this web, about this website, about this app, um, and support Ashley in this as well. I know that we're business partners in the app, but I just think it's gonna. Th this potentially is just gonna completely. It is gonna revolutionise the way that people do property. It's gonna. It's 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 a much. It, the, the barrier to entry in properties become lower because rather than people thinking, I'm really confused. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to work out the return on investment. I don't know how to find. It's just. It's there. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really, really impressed and proud of what you've done Thank and you. just honored to be part of it. So, oh, too. Thank so you. thanks for coming on Winners on a Wednesday. <laughs> and I look forward to con continuing communicating over Zoom calls while you're all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the interview. Of course, in the description, you can check on the website, check on the apps and start seeing these types of deals. Also, don't forget to drop a comment below. Give some support to Ashley. Also, smash the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you next time.